Two tribes sworn to hate. Their blood-stained bodies left out in the open to rot. Their souls longing for a peace that they failed to find. As they sought to break the shackles of darkness and heal the wounds of the past, fate denied their quest and thrust them into war. The bridges of hope some dared to build between them were torn asunder. Their dreams were ripped from their hearts with a sword, with a destiny revealed at last. Hawk, and it's carrying a scroll. Stay here. I'll get it. Kagero, do not pursue it too far. Of course not. I understand. Wait here. I'll go with her. That is the hawk that once belonged to Ogun of the Ega. Now that she is in the next world, only one person can be controlling it. Overrow. Two of them stayed behind. From what I could hear, it appears Hyoma is the one to my left. So the one to my right must be Simon. Nenki had his opportunity. He could have finished off each one of them, but here they stand while his remains have become part of the Earth. I will succeed where he failed. You can stop trying to hide yourself, Tenzin. I can sense every step you take. I know that voice. The heart flies as if to lead us. Simon Dunn, over there. I see.
Our enemy has escaped. But not too far. She must be keeping an eye on us. She would not be so careless as to attack the two of us while we stand together. We must let this go for now. But why? If she is nearby and we cannot sense her presence, then I am certain we are not being lured by Obero. Aside from being born into this world with her mystic eye, Obero possesses no other skill or knowledge of the ninja arts. Hmm. She knows no stealth. It's too quiet. I fear the Iga have lured us away in order to trap the others. Wait. How shrewd. The Genosuke who chased the hawk. He was actually Simon. And here we stand. I commend your work with Nenki and Hotorubi. They were worthy opponents, and you bested them with ease. Both of you are blind. Pity. You missed seeing your friend Gyobu. I left him the way he died and placed him in your path. No. Both of us saw him with our mind's eyes, and we bid our farewells. We prayed for him on his journey to the next world, and we thank you for allowing us this honor. So, you mock me. Do you? Then why don't you see this with your mind's eye? <laughs> Koga Genosuke, it has been my desire to allow you to live right up until the very end. That way you could witness the extinction of the Koga as well as my marriage to Oboro-san. Only then would I kill you. But it appears the stars have fated your moment of death to be now! Sheath your sword, Tenzin. We are traveling to Sun Gu only to confirm the intentions of retired Shogun Iyasu. Find your remaining Iga, escort them back to your village, and wait there. We desire a true end to the violence erupting from the dissolution of the No Hostilities Pact. This vicious hatred that has permeated both our peoples since the Battle of the Tensho Era could well be forgiven and forgotten very soon. This rivalry has been 400 long years, and both sides have sacrificed too much blood. With this blood soaked deeply into the soils of the earth, many still know very little of why we remain locked in this turmoil. We would like to see a different end than the digging of countless graves. And so, we are asking you, Tenzin, as the leader of your people and as Obero's chief confidant, let us sever these ancient binds of hatred. All of which I speak is the will of the Koga leader, Genosuke. Hyuma. <laughs> of all the ridiculous things to bring up now, Genosuke, are you a coward? What about your letter challenging us to find you? He had no choice. There are many among us who loathe the eager people. Now, Hyoma, I feel you compensate your lack of sight with a clever tongue and an even quicker parade of ideas. Judge the Koga! <laughs> Yakushiji Tenzin, you are wrong about one thing. I will not witness your marriage. <laughs> you accept your death? No. Your blood will be spilled before that happens. Ah, oh, not only are you blind, but you are mad as well. Now, Genosuke-sama? Yes, Yuma, I permit you. Look upon him.
is difficult to surpass such an incredible mentor. I do not deserve such praise. I am merely your substitute while darkness holds your eyes. That is not true. You know me. You've seen through my walls. I have built them around myself to the point where I even worry Simon and Kagero. They see me as a useless leader. We all understand how you feel. It is not weakness that we see in you. It's just that there is such a deep hatred for the Iga. This hatred has warped any perspective we might have on these matters. It is the sole emotion we have felt toward the Iga our entire lives. It is not something trivial. It is very real. And it has led us to where we now stand. We have crossed a line in the sand. I do not want to lose you to this fight. The Koga have cared for me since birth. You are all precious to me. Gerosuke-sama! Please, tell us you're not hurt. Calm yourselves, we are fine. I'm just glad both of you are safe. Tenzin has fallen. Here, Nanki and Hotorubi, as well as Jingaro, have all had their names crossed out in blood. It must be the blood of Gyobu. He fought like a warrior. Genosuke-sama, forgive us. We let the hawk get away from us. And we could not find its master. When you find this hawk again, I want it dead, along with the one who is leading its way. <laughs> Even if it is Obero? Are you ordering her death through our hands? Yes, I am. She's nothing but an eager woman. Simon, Kagero, you need not appear so surprised. Genosuke-sama ordered me to look upon Tenzin with my dojutsu. It is important that we take all opportunities that arise. Yoma, Kagero, would you please go on ahead and accompany Genosuke-sama to Okazaki? Simon Dono, what will you do here? This corpse and I have some unfinished business. I feared him most, for I did not know his skills. I had thought him to be superior in his techniques. But in the end, he was as weak as a pig in line for slaughter. You. I'm sorry I insisted on bathing. No need for apologies. The salt in the air can be very dry. You're right for wanting to protect your delicate skin. It must have been uncomfortable for you out on the sea. I should have noticed. Oboro-sama, I am going to take you and make you my wife. You were raised to be the next leader of the Iga people. If we are to ensure our bloodline into the future, then you must take a worthy husband. These breasts have gone untouched by Genovsky, but I can feel them growing warm under my touch. I can feel their longing. Seducing a woman is an ancient ninja technique, and I am very skilled. Uh, okay, can you? Yes. Would you please scrub harder? performance. I wish to hear that music again.
paths could cross any time in the future. Has Koshiro retired for the evening? I never had a chance to express my gratitude. I know he had to endure great pain in following orders. I was hoping that before Tenzin returned from his patrol of the area, I would have a chance to thank Koshiro. Well, I'm afraid that the two of them have gone out to scout together. By now, they must be nearing the city of Kumaba. They plan on slaying Hioma this night. But how? Koshiro does not have use of his eyes. I know that. I tried to stop him, too. You say this because you fear for me? No, I... It's Koshiro. You know this is not a journey for pleasure. Yes, right. Please forgive my concerns. Hmm. It is a fact that on the road a traveling companion can sometimes become much more than a friend. Uh, that's... that's not it at all. Once we kill off all the Koga, we can enjoy two wedding ceremonies. One for Oboro and myself, and one for you and Koshiro. No, that's not what I meant. Do not worry, Oboro-sama. Koshiro Dono is well. I'm sure. I feel it inside. You do? I've never been more sure. Tenzin Sama. What happened on the boat was simply an act to draw out the Koga I knew to be lurking in the shadows. It is now time to put this out of your mind. Sama, I do not blame you for how you feel. It is a result of youth, this uncertainty. But time mercilessly carries on without regard to anyone's desires, even those of a leader. 
As the man entrusted to protect you, I may be wrong in saying this, but I feel you should stay unsure of yourself until you are the last remaining Koga in this world. When I see Danjo-sama in the next life, I will apologize to him personally for harboring these thoughts. But since Danjo-sama is not here to guide you, I stand alone in my duties. What is it that you sense? A presence. Someone is approaching. <laughs> His vow to protect what innocence remains revels in the eyes of chance and misfortune. Pressured to surrender the reins to the past, another must leap to selflessness alone, for a sacrifice must be made to ensure the safety of another. Cloaked in the moonlight, the pale rider with fiery eyes of death will unravel the fated. On the next basilisk, a dawn without light.